Hello and welcome. Our today's skill is speaking. I will present some conversations and dialogues with different situations. All of this in order to know how to use language and how to talk. So our lesson today is let's talk. Hiya natahadath. Let's start. Complete the following dialogue. أكمل الحوار التالي. Nice to meet you. Neighbors. That's right. No, not yet. Let's read again. Nice to meet you. من اللطف أو من السعادة أن أقابلك أو قد تكون سررت بلقائك. Neighbors, الجيران. That's right. هذا صحيح. No, not yet. لا ليس بعد Let's continue Electric bike الدراجة الكهربائية I'd love to do that أحب أو أود أن أفعل ذلك Let's continue Paul and Adam This is a dialogue between Paul and Adam Paul starts saying Hello, I'm Paul We're Adam Hi, I'm Adam. So, the meaning or the concept of this conversation is introducing each other for the first time. These people are meeting for the first time. So, Paul, hello, I'm Paul. We're neighbors. They are introducing each other. Adam, hi, I'm Adam. And Adam, meets Paul for the first time. What do we say when we meet someone for the first time? We say, nice to meet you. Again, Paul, hello, I'm Paul. We are neighbors. Adam, hi, I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Next. So here we used neighbors and we used nice to meet you. We still have that's right. No, not yet. Paul, have you just arrived? Have you just arrived? Adam, we got here last night. What is the answer? That's right. We got here last night. Again, Paul is asking, have you just arrived? Adam, that's right. We got here last night so we used that's right we still have no not yet Paul have you looked around the place yet Adam there hasn't been time لم يكن هناك وقت كافي أي أن الإجابة يجب أن تكون منفية ألا وهي no, not yet. Again, Paul, have you looked around the place yet? Adam, no, not yet. There hasn't been time. We still have electric bike and I'd love to do that. Again, we have electric bike and I'd love to do that. Paul, we can go on my... We can go on my. Paul is offering something. Adam, thanks very much. So, Paul, we can go on my electric bike. نستطيع أن نذهب في جولة باستخدام دراجتي الكهربائية. Adam, thanks very much. يبدو أن آدم يحب الفكرة. فماذا يجب أن يقول? I'd love to do that. Thanks very much. So, this is the end of the first dialogue. Let's move to another dialogue or conversation. Complete the dialogues with these expressions. Let's read the expressions together. 
I'm sorry, but I can't come on Thursday. I'm sorry, but I can't come on Thursday. أعتذر لأنني لا أستطيع الحضور أو المجيء يوم الخميس. Number two, I'm having my piano lessons. I'm having my piano lessons. إنني أتلقى دروس البيانو. Are you going? هل أنت ذاهب? Are you going? Next. Would you like to come? هل تود أن تأتي؟ هل ترغب في المجيء؟ Would you like to come? Next. What are you doing tomorrow? ماذا تفعل غدا؟ أو ماذا تخطط ليوم غد؟ What are you doing tomorrow? No, we're not. No, we're not. No, I'm not. Let's start. This is a dialogue between Adam and Yara. Adam, what day is the football match? What day is the football match? Yara, on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Adam, he is asking. This is the question. Yara, yes, I am. I'm going with my father. Yes, I am. I am going with my father. So, let's try to find the suitable answer. What day is the football match? On Wednesday. Yes, I am. I am going with my father. It seems like Adam is asking about if she is coming or not. So, the answer is, are you going? Are you going? هل أنت ذاهبة? Are you going? Yes, I am. I am going with my father. Let's move on. This is a dialogue between Hind and Lean. Hind is asking a question and Lean is answering. I'm going to the school open day. So, فأذهب إلى اليوم المفتوح في المدرسة. Hind. Oh dear, I forgot. لقد نسيت. So it seems like Hind is asking about her plans for tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? So the answer is, I'm going to the school open day. Hind, oh dear, I forgot. Let's move on. This is a dialogue between Matthew and Richard. Matthew, hi Richard. Richard, hello, how are you? Matthew, fine. Richard, oh, why not? Matthew is asking, then Richard is answering another time then. Let's see. Again, Matthew, hi Richard. Richard, hello, how are you? Matthew, fine. I'm sorry, but I can't come on Thursday. He's apologizing for not coming on Thursday. I'm sorry, but I can't come on Thursday. Oh, why not? Richard is asking about the reason, the reason of not coming. Sabab Adam al Majib. Matthew is telling the reason. And then Richard is accepting his apology another time then. So Matthew. I'm having my piano lessons. This is his excuse or his reason. I'm having my piano lessons. Let's continue. A dialogue between Amanda and Sophie. Amanda starts. Are you and your sister doing anything tomorrow? Are you and your sister doing anything tomorrow? Sophie is answering. Then she's asking why? Amanda, would you like to come swimming? Would you like to come swimming? This is like an invitation or a suggestion. Sophie, yes, I would. Thanks. So here we have, no, we're not. Are you and your sister doing anything tomorrow? No, we're not. نحن متفرغتان. Why? لماذا تسألين? Would you like to come swimming? Yes, I would. Thanks. Another dialogue between Walid and Sami. Walid starts, Are you busy on Sunday? هل أنت مشغول يوم الأحد? 
Sami should answer. Walid, we are going to visit Mount Qasyun. So, if we go to the Jabal Qasyun. Sami, I'd love to. Again, Walid, are you busy on Sunday? Sami, no, I'm not. لا, لست مشغولا. No, I'm not. Walid, we are going to visit Mount Qasyun. Sami, I'd love to. He is now giving what a suggestion or making a suggestion. Would you like to come or an invitation? Would you like to come? Sami, I'd love to. This is the end of the second conversation. Let's take a break and then we will come back. We'll come back. Match the sentences to the replies. وصل الجمل بالردود أو الاستجابات المناسبة لها. I'm hot. أنا أشعر بالحر. What would you like? ماذا تريد? I've lost my pencil. لقد فقدت قلمي. How can I get there? كيف أستطيع أن أصل إلى هناك? Let's read them again. I'm hot. What would you like? I've lost my pencil. How can I get there? Let's continue the sentences. I'm a bit hungry. أشعر بالجوع قليلا. We're lost. نحن تائهون. This bag is heavy. هذه الحقيبة ثقيلة. I forgot the class register. لقد نسيت سجل الصف. Let's read again. I'm a bit hungry. We're lost. This bag is heavy. I forgot the class register. These are the sentences. Now we are going to read the replies. So, فنقرأ الآن الردود أو الاستجابات المناسبة لهذه الجمل. The replies. I'll go and get it for you, Mr. Haddad. سوف أذهب وأحضره لك. يا سيد حداد I'll go and get it for you Mr. Haddad I'll find the map سوف أعثر على الخريطة I'll find the map I'll make you lunch سوف أعد لك طعام الغداء I'll make you lunch I'll have a sandwich سوف أتناول a sandwich I'll have a sandwich Let's continue reading the replies I'll get you a pen. سوف أحضر لك قلما. Shall I help you carry it? هل أساعدك في حمله? We'll give you a ride. سوف نوصلك. Shall I open the window? هل أفتح الشباك? Let's read them again. I'll get you a pen. Shall I help you carry it? We'll give you a ride. Shall I open the window? Let's continue. How can I get there? We'll give you a ride. سوف نوصلك. I'm a bit hungry. I'll make you lunch. We're lost. نحن تائهون. I'll find the map. I'll find the map. This bag is heavy. This bag is heavy. What is the suitable reply? Shall I help you carry it? Shall I help you carry it? I forgot the class register. I forgot the class register. I'll go and get it for you, Mr. Haddad. I'll go and get it for you, Mr. Haddad. Let's move to another activity. Give advice. Using you'd better. ممكن أيضا أن أستخدم صيغة النفي. You'd better not to. It depends on the meaning. So give advice using you'd better or you'd better not to. Let's look at the picture. This person is giving a piece of advice for this sick person. Take the medicine. And I have to use you'd better. So the structure is... 
you'd better take the medicine. You'd better take the medicine. And we know that you'd is for you had. You had better take the medicine. Next. Go to school today. Go to school today. Look at the picture. He is sick or he is ill. So his mother is giving him a piece of advice saying, you'd better not to go to school today. You'd better not to go to school today. Stay in bed. Stay in bed. So what is the answer? You'd better stay in bed. You'd better stay in bed. Try to get up. Try to get up. The advice is, you'd better not try to get up because you are ill or sick. You'd better not try to get up. Let's stop here, take a break, and then we will continue. We'll come back. Add should, should not, or shouldn't, or the strong forms must, must not, or mustn't. So in this activity, I need to use expressions for advice, which are should or shouldn't, and some expressions for obligations or necessity, must or mustn't. Let's start. Look here, I feel really tired. I feel really tired. You try to do any more work. You go to bed. So here, you shouldn't try to do any more work. I give him a piece of advice. You shouldn't try to do any more work. You should go to bed. Next, I'll think I'll have a glass of this. I'll think I'll have a glass of this. This is medicine, and this medicine is forbidden. So this is what an obligation. You mustn't drink that. You mustn't drink that. You must always read what the bottle says. So this is something necessary or an obligation to read what the bottle says. Again, you mustn't drink that. You must always read what the bottle says. I really love food. I really love food. Look at him. He is fat and we should give him a piece of advice. You shouldn't eat so much. You shouldn't eat so much. You try to eat less. تحاول أن تخفف كمية الطعام. You should try to eat less. You should try to eat less. Look at the picture. This boy is sleeping and the other person is making noise. You make so much noise. You mustn't make so much noise. This is a necessity or an obligation. When someone is sleeping, you mustn't make so much noise. Number two, you play very quietly. You must play very quietly. You must play very quietly. So by this example, we come to the end of this exercise. Let's move to another activity. The Brown family are having lunch in a hotel. Write these words and expressions in the correct places. Please, I'll have, would you like, sounds nice, soup of the day. Again, please, من فضلك, I'll have, سوف أتناول, would you like هل تريد sounds nice تبدو فكرة لطيفة أو جيدة soup of the day الحساء الذي يقدم لهذا اليوم 
Let's start. This is the dialogue between the waiter, Nadel, and Mrs. Brown, Wasayida Brown. Waiter, what for a starter, madam? What for a starter, madam? Mrs. Brown, the salad, please. So the waiter is asking about what she wants. So what would you like for a starter, madam? ماذا تريدين في البداية أو كنوع من أنواع المقبلات؟ Mrs. Brown, the salad, please. I'll have. سوف أتناول. I'll have the salad, please. Let's read the dialogue again. Waiter, what would you like for a starter, madam? Mrs. Brown, I'll have the salad, please. Let's continue. Waiter, and what about you, young lady? وماذا عنك سيدتي الصغيرة؟ كيثي, I'll have the hummus, please. تطلبوا كيثي بشكل مؤدب قائلة, I'll have the hummus, please. Let's continue. Waiter, and what would you like, sir? وماذا تريد سيدي؟ Mr. Brown, السيد Brown, what is the soup of the day? ما هو الحساء الذي تقدمونه لهذا اليوم؟ What is the soup of the day? Waiter, it's a fresh fish soup today, sir. إنه حساء السمك الطازج. Kathy, I'll have that, please. Kathy, أحبت الفكرة قائلة. Sounds nice. I'll have that, please. يبدو ذلك لطيفا. سوف أتناوله من فضلك. That's enough for today. نكتفي بهذا القدر. Thank you very much for listening and watching and happy studies.